Hi, welcome to this DCPware tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Blender to rotate around a selected object. So let's go ahead and open up this folder and I'm going to open up this sci-fi Blender project. If you remember in my previous tutorial, we worked on this sci-fi Blender project. If you want uh, to follow this tutorial, then I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description. Just to make life a little bit easier, I'm just going to go into the shading and turn off the volumetric lighting. And if we go back to the layout, now as default when you install Blender, whether it's the latest version, the current version, when we um, come out of the camera view, and if we're trying to rotate around a specific point, Blender has an invisible point, right, that is rotating around. So if I rotate around here, you can see it's just rotating around this center point in the viewport. If I click on the spaceship back here and rotate, it's still rotating around this center point. And it would be nice if I click on the spaceship, or let's see, if I click on this planet, we would rotate around the planet or this one over here or the spaceship itself. So to set this up in Blender, let's go to edit and let's go to preferences here. Preferences and inside preferences, we'll go to navigation and we'll tick this option orbit around selection. So this is quite an important uh, feature. I think that you should enable on Blender. So if we close this now, and if we click on this planet over here, when I rotate now, it will rotate around this object, right? So if I just pan around to this object, if I wanted to edit this object, I can now rotate directly around it. If I click on this planet in the background, so now this object is selected, I'll rotate around that planet. So as I'm working on this object, I can zoom in and rotate and do the work to that particular object. If I click on the little spaceship down here, I can then rotate around that spaceship and work on this spaceship specifically, right? So this makes life a lot easier when we come to um, editing and updating objects in Blender, especially on the editing side, right? So what else we can do is, um, if we were to just enable Look Dev, then we can see the scene here, and we can see this little spaceship uh, doing its thing. Let's just go back to our, um, let's go back to our shader here. Let's just connect the volumetric lighting back again. And then you can see what this scene actually looks like um, when it's rendering out, right? Or when, play the scene with this little sci-fi spaceship. But it'd be quite difficult to edit these objects and manipulate them if when we're rotating around them, it's just rotating around some random point that just makes life a little bit more difficult, right? So do enable that feature. I think it's a very good feature to have in Blender to um, be able to rotate around a specific selected object, uh, especially when you're editing in uh, solid view. So this is quite useful um, when you're editing in solid view, right? like this. So hopefully that makes sense. If you've got any questions about that, feel free to comment in the YouTube description and um, or YouTube commenting, and then I'll try and help you to understand how to uh, set this up. But it's pretty straightforward. Go to edit, go to preferences and tick orbit around selection. Yeah. And I think uh, that will make your life a lot more easier. Okay, let's go ahead and minimize this. I will close this down. If you want to check out that sci-fi tutorial, I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP Word tutorial.